Hello everyone and welcome to another SQL tutorial with Learn at Nostar. Today we are going to write a SQL query to calculate the number of Sundays between two dates. So it could be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, so any weekday or any weekend day can be calculated using this logic. We are going to achieve this in a number of steps, so let's get started. As a first step, I'm just going to declare two variables at start date and at end date which are going to contain the value of the start date and end date so the starting date of the range and the ending date between which we want to calculate the number of Sundays. We can just declare the data type as date time and then we can assign a value so 2023 which is going to be the 1st of March and then I'm going to declare another variable which is going to be let's say at end date Again, the same data type of date time and we can assign any value. So let's say this time we want to take it till uh, 15th of April. So this is going to be the 15th of April. Now, the next step is going to generate all the dates in this range. So this sequence of dates we are going to generate using a CTE. So there's a simple logic which we have used at many places and for any requirement where you need to generate a sequence of dates, a sequence of numbers, recursive CTE can be used. So the same thing we are going to use here. If you're not clear with the principle of recursive CTE, then I've provided a link below in the video and you can go to that link and understand what is a recursive CTE and how it works. So for our case, we're just going to declare the CTE name. So we can just say CTE E underscore dates as and then I'm going to write my query so this is going to be a recursive CTE in the first in the base query I'm just going to select the first date the starting date so I'm going to take the value from the variable at start date as date and then I'm going to do a union all and I'm going to increment the value of the start date by one day each time so to increment any date value by one day what we function we can use is the date add function you just need to pass the interval in which terms you want to increment so day is we want to increment by a day so that's why we are going to pass day and then you have to find out the increment so increment is going to be one at a time and to what value are you going to add it to the value of date so whatever date we are calculating by this query and again we are going to call it as date and then we are referencing to the same CTE this is a recursive CTE so from CTE underscore dates and then till we have to uh, define a termination condition. So tell what uh, value should we keep on generating this sequence. So we have to keep on generating till we reach the end date. So where date is less than equal to this end date, which we have defined in the variable at end date. So this is going to be your CTE condition. And there won't be any quotes over there because it's a variable. So now we have defined a recursive CTE and the CTE is expected to generate all the date values in this range. So I'm just going to do a simple select on this CTE so that we will know that it actually performs the uh, task as per our requirement. So CTE underscore date and let's just execute this whole thing. This is because we need to uh, terminate the declare statement so that the next uh, set of statements is executed as one batch. So again, I'm going to execute my queries and you will see that because it's a date time value, you can see that the time part is also included and we can say 47 rows have been generated, which will be the number of rows, number of dates between starting from the 1st of March, so inclusive of 1st of March, and it goes all the way till the 16th of um, April. So we really do not want 16th of April. We are only concerned with the 15th of April. 
So why this is happening is because when we just refer here in the where condition to date variable, now it is not taking the calculated value from here from this select query, but it is taking the calculated, it is taking the source value of this date uh, variable over here, which is coming to this calculation. So to fix this so that it doesn't go beyond 15th of April, what we need to do here is in the where clause, we need to right where data day one and um, this calculation basically is less than equal to add and date so it will stop at 15th of april so again i'm going to execute this whole query and you will see now that now you got the last row generated for 15th of April. So now that we have all these values, we are going to check that which of these date values falls on a Sunday. So we are going to add a where clause and use the function, the date function, date name. And we're going to pass the interval as weekday. So when you pass the interval as weekday, it is going to give you the the name of that day so if it is sunday it is going to call it sunday if it is monday it is going to call it as monday and so on so weekday is what the argument that you need to pass over here and then the input value on which the weekday has to be calculated so that value is coming in our column date from the cte above and we're going to say that this thing is equal to sunday so now if I execute this whole query again, you will see that I get only six rows. So I get a value for each row, which is a Sunday. So now if you just want to do a count, what you can do is you can just use your count function over here. So count of date where it is a Sunday and you can execute this whole code and you will get the value or you can will get the count of Sundays between those range of dates. So it could be any day. If you want to count Monday, let's say, you can just say Monday and execute the whole thing again. And you will be getting the output for the number of Mondays between that date range. So this is how this can be achieved using two uh, date functions, date add and date name and using a recursive CD, the simplest way to achieve this result. I hope that you found this video useful. If you did, then do you, please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we'll be posting many more videos soon. Thanks a lot for watching. Goodbye.